Rohingya grieve after baby dies in border crossing. Shapur Dwip, Bangladesh, writers, a crying Rohingya mother in a yellow headscarf cradling her five-week-old infant son who died after their boat capsized is one of the most powerful writers' images of Muslim refugees fleeing violence in Myanmar. Hamada, her husband Nazir Ahmed and their two young sons were among 18 refugees on a small fishing boat crossing the Bay of Bengal to the Bangladesh village of Shapur Dwip. As they neared the shore, the boat capsized and they were tossed into the murky water. Writers photographer Mohamed Ponra Hussain was taking pictures of exhausted refugees on the beach when he heard an auto rickshaw driver shouting that a boat had capsized. I rushed to the spot and found people crying over the dead body of a child, Ponra said. Click here for a photo essay, Royut RS2WF Jower. Hamada, a Rohingya refugee woman, cries as she holds her 40-day-old son who died as a boat capsized in the shore of Shapur Dwip in Teknaf, Bangladesh, September 14, 2017. Writers Mohamed Ponra Hussain he took a picture of Hamada cradling the tiny pale body of her child, Abdul Mist. He appears to have died as the survivors scrambled through the crashing waves to shore. Another picture showed the anguish on the face of Nazir Ahmed as he carried his son away from the crowd. The couple's other son survived the accident. Around 400,000 Rohingya have arrived in Bangladesh in less than three weeks and people are still arriving, by land and sea, after attacks by Rohingya militants sparked a fierce counter-offensive by Myanmar's army. Senior United Nations officials have described the violence as a textbook example of ethnic cleansing. Hamada's family was among tens of thousands of Rohingya who embarked in a rickety fleet of small wooden fishing boats on the crossing from Myanmar's coast to southern Bangladesh, a journey that can take up to five hours. They are so desperate that they are risking their lives to escape Myanmar. The pictures show what is going on here, Pomer said. Our standards, the Thomson Writers Trust principles, based on the materials of the site, 